Hi, I'm Liv from The Guilty Ones, and this is UBR TV. Our sound, indie pop eclectic. I started playing music at the age of nine. I was a bit of a nerdy kid, and uh, I stayed home a lot and I read books, and then my dad thought, uh, I want a cooler kid than this. So he got me this cheap Casio keyboard, and he taught me two piano pieces, one for, for Eliza, you know, the Beethoven part, and another some polka thing. So, so I played that over and over again, then I got bored. So I started coming up with my, my own parts. So that's how I started playing and writing. My, my main influences are, I would say, old school music, like the Beatles, the Beach Boys, Fleetwood Mac, The Doors, from more newer, I think Joey, our guitarist, would want me to say Radiohead, who are unbelievable. Plenty of other bands, there's from Neil Young, Dolly Parton, Bjork, Coldplay, list goes on. Um, the band name was my friend's idea, actually. Because she was, uh, we, we were discussing different ideas that we could have, and she looked, she googled it. That was the movie, and she was like, "Hey, there's no band like that." All right, that's how the name came about, and we just said, "Okay, we're the guilty ones from now on." As rock and roll is that. The response from the radio play has been very, very positive, actually. We've had Radio 1, Absolute Radio, um, Q Radio, XFM, someone I'm forgetting, oh yeah, BBC Six, that have been very, very helpful and, and supportive of playing the track and pushing us and mentioning our name in their shows, which is brilliant. So we're climbing. Our most memorable gig is actually quite recent gig that we did for Bob Geldof. The atmosphere was amazing. It was packed, you know, Bob Geldof, really cool, Nigel Grange, wonderful, the crowd, brilliant, everybody was very in involved in our performance, so it really hyped us up so much, it was, it was great. Um, well, we got the, the Bob Geldof event um, through a promoter, a London promoter called Mickey P, who told us the, that we would suit to play on, on their bill, and we were very, very happy, so we did, and apparently we blew everybody's minds. I'm like, you haven't seen nothing yet, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Most recently, we have been speaking to a few majors because suddenly we got a bit of interest since um, up till now we've been doing all the hard work ourselves with the help of a few people related to the music industry like Lander PR, who, are, who have worked as our PR company and trying to push us into national radio and regional radios. And now, yeah, mostly meetings with... with um, major labels who are very very interested in helping us out and also um, working on some new songs that will be part of the album. My voice, I think it's quite weird, I think it's a bit like Marmite, either you love it or you hate it, <laughs> you know, because I don't sound like anyone else, I sing like me, and I think that's good and also the, the musicians who are Joe, the guitarist and co-writer, um, Oded who plays the keys and synth bass and Manuel our drummer I think each one of them, because we're all so music obsessed, everybody puts their extra spice to the sound, and I think that's, that's cool. Uh, for the next year, there's quite a few things that we've got lined up. Um, we're gonna, first of all, we're going to take our band to the next level with um, the help of a few very, very cool music-related people. We're going to um, work on our third single. We're going to have some photo shoots, more professional photo shoots, because we need that. That's very important for the image. UBR is a connection between unsigned bands and music industry, and I think it's very handy for every unsigned band to um, experience that and to be get involved with UBR, because, first of all, there is time to talk about yourself and what you do and get a bit of ego boost but also a great exposure amongst Coco Sumner and Norman Cook and that's pretty cool so I think that's great. 
I would definitely recommend UBR to other unsigned bands because UBR gives um, bands and acts a lot of exposure. For example, we got Pick of the Week with Dance With You by Absolute Radio because of the UBR team. 